before this video begins, I just want to come on here and talk about something that's related to the title of this video game walkthrough. As some of you probably may already know from some of my past videos, I take bullying very seriously. I'm very against bullying and anything resembling bullying that happens in our, it happens in our society, I'm just not a fan of. So if you or anyone you know is suffering from some type of bullying, whether it's at school or at work or with a sport you play or just wherever you're at in society, don't be afraid to speak up. Don't be afraid to say that bullying is never okay. And obviously with this game, there are going to be depictions of bullying scenarios, which obviously the game is trying to tell you not to do in real life. So once again, it's all complete exaggeration. And my character, Jimmy, is going to try and make the best choices for himself to stand up against bullying, which obviously with me controlling the character is something that again, I'm going to try and do. So I'll leave some links down below in the description of this video and also in the comments. So in case you or anyone you know is going through some type of bullying or whatever, don't be afraid to go visit these sites, get some more information about what goes on with bullying and don't be afraid to speak out and stand up for stand up against this kind of nonsense. Just wanted to come on here and say that thank you all for taking the time to listen. Now let's get on with the walkthrough. Had to put on a sweatshirt here because it is cold down the basement. It really is. I, I, I just don't know. It's just cold for some reason. Anyway, how's it going everyone? My name is Connor O'Neill and welcome to my brand new walkthrough, Bully for the PS2. This is a game that I have not played in years, possibly, so I might not remember every single thing about the game, but I do know a good chunk of this game, especially the ending, which I will not spoil. Just want to also point out before we get into this walkthrough, this game is rated T for Teen 4. Crude humor, language, sexual themes, use of alcohol and tobacco, and violence. So, if you are under the age of, say, like 13 or something like that, and your parents don't allow you to view this type of content on YouTube, please stop watching the video. Otherwise, everyone else, it should be good. I mean, there, it's not like an M for Mature rated game. Nobody's head gets blown off. At least, I hope not. I'm just kidding. There, there's no heads getting blown off. That... That'd be a really graphic game. But yeah, I've also been kind of really excited to play this game as well. So without any further ado, this game's going to be a lot of fun. Leave a like on the video, comment and subscribe if you want more Bully. And let's just get started with the walkthrough. Here we go, folks. It just goes right into the intro. Rockstar Games, the same people that made Grand Theft Auto. Surprised they made a T for Teen game, but here we are. Bullworth Academy. Jimmy. Please say something. Bully, T for James? Team. What? Who are you? Mom, I thought you told me never to talk to strangers. Like I said before, Jimmy, please be nice to your new stepfather. This intro does kind of give a general background of what's going on and why Jimmy's been sent to Bullworth Academy. Okay, rich guy. I love it that you're twice as old as my grandfather and you're fat and bald. Uh. That's enough! I've had it with you, you little brat! Obviously, Jimmy's a huge troublemaker. So, and here's Bullworth Academy. I have not played this You've game in years. You've upset your mother! I've got half a mind to beat you. Half a mind is right. Suddenly he realizes. I can't believe you, you little monster. We'll deal with you when we get back from our honeymoon. Next year. Damn, they're sending me to this preparatory school for a year? Jeez, that's a little much. Anyway. So yeah, obviously this is going through the gym, showing you a little bit more of the school. Written by those people. Here we are, boy, Bullworth Academy. Keep calling me boy for some reason. I ain't no boy. Have fun, Jimmy. I'll think of you from our cruise ship. <laughs> Whatever. That's a little harsh. Like I said, I haven't played this game in years, so again, might be a little rusty, but I remember playing this game growing up. I really enjoyed it. Welcome to Bullworth. First chapter of this long game. It's not really too long of a game, at least from my memory. We're not going to go for 100% completion. We're just going to do the missions for this game. So, yeah. Off they go. Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. 
You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Ah. I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy, in the main building. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. Well, with a name like Crabblesnitch, I'm sure he's very brilliant. Why do they keep calling me boy? That's just, that's some disrespectful type level stuff right there. All right, move Jimmy with the left analog stick, move the camera with the right analog stick. Ah, one of these games. And here we are, folks, about to begin our journey. Oh, yeah, you can sprint by tapping X. And here we are, folks. This is Bullworth Academy. So we just got to go to the main office. There's the jocks in the blue... Nerds are green, all that stuff. Don't talk to me, kid. Let's, can I just punch a kid and just be expelled? How you doing? Hey, what what you looking at? What you looking at for? Actually, I should be picking on the nerds. They already have it rough as it is. Oh. Hey there. I can strangle lady. you with a tie. What I do? Hey, what? Lady, listen. Stupid. What? Hey, screw you, woman. I, don't make me hit you. Actually, I shouldn't be doing that. This is, <laughs> this is not, that would not be good. Ah. Yes. So, you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now, let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you. At making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster, and I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. Bruh. Do you just flip me off? And again with the boy nonsense. It's, ugh, it's not funny. Just, you cannot talk to me like that, all right? He is almost a grown adult. He's probably like 15 or 16 at the time, but he is still almost an adult. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. This is the world map. Obviously, there's all these R locations I will get to uh, anyway, like later in the game. And with the status also, you also have to go to class with this game and earn respect with all the other people in the school. So obviously you got chemistry, art, shop, English, gym, and photography. So yeah, you, if you do well in the class and you pass them, then I think you get rewards, like you get other stuff. So actually important to go to class and do all that stuff. All right, here we are in the boys' dorm. Let's head on inside. Guess what time it is? Yep, time for a beat down. Get the new kid, beat him down. Uh, what? I just got here, and now, okay, so now we're going into a fight, all right, all right, you want some then? Come here, come here, boom, all right, can you do grapple punches, throw people, the combination was, the, or I'm sorry, the combat system was pretty simple, you just have to spam it, 
Target, and then you can humiliate bullies. Ooh, twisting the arm. Old school stuff. Really nice stuff. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have been picking on me. <laughs> You're dead, new kid! Oh boy, dead. Russell. Oh, no! Break it up! That's enough of that! Break it up! Why are you not in your uniform, young man? Go change immediately! Aw, oh, come on. But yeah, seriously, you're not gonna tell those guys off for doing that? Like, starting a fight with me? Shouldn't I already be suspended for fighting? Oh god, I hated this hey, kid. Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah, what's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse me. I said me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? Yeah, so I just remember Gary, and I think there was that wimpy little friend. Uh, oh, couldn't you save somewhere? I think you, you could do saving or whatever. Anyway. Change clothes, go into the uniform, and also we can earn more money by um, doing jobs for people around the city, so a lot of good stuff. That's our school uniform. Looks really ugly, but hey, that's how it is. Sometimes if you don't uh, have your uniform on, you can get in trouble, or... Uh, hey, how you doing? Don't explain You must later. be the new kid. I'm Pete. Pete Kowalski. That's Jimmy Hopkins, Pete. and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, enough about me. Oh. I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. Aww. There's uh, preparatory people here, and if you don't wear your school uniform, you can get in trouble. Oh, wait, I am gonna pit you. And like, if you do stuff like that, that'll warn the preparatory uh, students to, all right, screw you then, boom. Yeah, take that. Perfects, yeah, prefects or whatever. So, they're the red dots, so you have to watch out for them. Otherwise, they can throw you into detention or in class and stuff like that. And that's not good. So, you, they're kind of like the police for, like, GTA. But in this game, they act like the police. And that's one of the prefects right there with the red dots and the uniform and all that. So, when you're wearing your school uniform, they don't really care. But if you're not wearing your school uniform, they'll... Let you know about it and give you a violation. Hey, leave that kid alone. Ah, no, I didn't mean to hit the bully. Come here. Boom. Yeah, take that, wimp. Oh, crap. Prefect's right there. Okay, just run. Run, 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 run. Okay. No, why are you going after me? Hey, I helped you out, stupid idiot. Oh yeah, you could hide in the trash to uh, hide away from the prefects, so. This is your school, another mission. It's set up like GTA, as Classic Rockstar would have it as. Hey, Gary. Alright, so he's gonna give us a little introduction. Muscles locker. You know, the big ape who almost put you in the hospital. Vocal cord, out! <laughs> What? 
Hold L1 and press X to apologize. Do I have to? I guess I do. Come on, we don't have to fight. You, Cash, now! All right, fine. Aw, oh, please. Puny ant! Kneel before Russell! Come on. And obviously there's the health bar at the side on the left with that circle with the map and all that. Come on, let's break into it and steal something. That'll teach him. Yeah, definitely will. All right. Slowly we'll take the left the arm. Oh, whoops. Lockpicking was a lot easier in this game than in Uncharted, The Lost Legacy. Lockpicking for that game was damn near impossible. 20 minutes later. Yeah, I mean, I just gotta go slowly. There we go. We have to do it slowly, not fast. All right, we got his cap. Yeah, and the prefix of the red dots. Okay, watch out for them. Oh boy, we're gonna have to run. Press triangle when you're beside a garbage can to hide, and that way, if you see a prefect coming your way, you can just hide from them, and they'll easily forget, because instead of just continuing to look out for you after you basically tried to fight people, they're just gonna say, eh, it's a normal Tuesday. I don't get it. So yeah, there's that. With all the violence that goes on at this school, I'm sure they don't care. All the running around in the halls, look at this. My high school was never like this. It's a lot nicer and all that. Oh man, there's that weird chick Eunice. Let's have some fun oh my god. with her. Oh my god, oh my god. Go, see what she wants. <laughs> he took my chocolate. Please get it back. How are you? Sure. I'll give you the chocolate, if you pay. Alright, whatever. Take my damn money. Just give me the damn chocolate. That was a nice, peaceful way of doing it. I guess with all the stuff going on, I didn't want to make too bad of a first impression at this school. Um, want to make out? What? Um, listen, I know you're a nice girl, but, uh, this is, uh... Yeah, just, no thanks. Abstain, abstain. Feeding time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now over there are the greasers. The greasers? <laughs> tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them. At least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. Bell on the radar is the location of your class, alright? Morning classes start at 9 a.m. and go until 11.30 a.m. And evening classes are like 4.30 to 6. And the top left corner of the screen, that's to keep track of time. Don't be late, get to class for 9.30 a.m. Okay. All right, gonna have to clock it. Hey, baby, how you doing? All right, let's stop talking to people. Let's get the clock. Wait, it was downstairs? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Ah, wait. I'm trying not to be late. Okay. Let's just get the class. Chemistry class, all right. This one wasn't too bad from what I remember. I think you just had to press a couple buttons. And I think the chemistry classes go from one to five, I believe. What are you doing in here? Oh, right. Class. Take care to follow my instructions precisely, as we will be working with volatile chemicals today. And like I said, if you pass all the classes, okay, so we just gotta nail it inside the box. Not too bad. And if you complete all five of the classes, you get like a reward or something, so, which can be used as like a weapon against bullies, so, probably a good idea to go to class. Got him. Chemistry passed. All right, you only gotta go to class five times. That's, this is an easy school. Yeah, so you can get like firecrackers and use the chem set to make them, so. Scroll through weapons. So yeah, you can have the weapon using LR2, R1, so throw your weapon, nice stuff. And you can purchase clothes, but we won't do that yet. Hey! Come here. 
Boom. Oh crap, no. Wait, I am here to do that. Uh, triangle. Spin a triangle. Oh, he grabbed him by the testicles. That's funny. All right, just go. Run. Okay, I think we got out of there. I think. I don't remember. What What's happening? What's going on? All right. Let's just go to the next mission. Start the setup. Oh, just in the nick of time before that prefect got to us. Whew. 